Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you my official entrance into the BYOL, aka Build Your Own Legends contest. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, At Games is running a contest in which they had uh, basically an idea out there that, hey, community, can you build your own arcade legends machine and can you do it better or do you have a unique idea? So a lot of people entered, sent them unique ideas. My unique idea was a bar top slash countertop slash uh, bigger, better version of a barcade type of thing, so to speak, with their ecosystem. So they send out a Legends Connect board and that's all we got. We got a Legends Connect board, didn't even give us a power supply. So uh, thanks at Games for not even supplying the power. But regardless, this is what I came up with. The grand prize of the competition is an at Games Legends pinball machine, um, which I've already pre-ordered. So this is kind of why I don't feel bad about showing my hand early because I think it's really, you know, like a win-win scenario for me because honestly, if I lose, I still end up getting the thing I want because I've already pre-ordered the Legends pinball machine. And if I win, well, I still get the pinball machine. I just didn't pay for it. But regardless, I hope by showing my hand early, number one, it inspires the people that are out there still toiling away on their own creations. And maybe it makes them work harder and, you know, do some uh, new changes or something and makes an even better product. I kind of felt bad because I've seen people messaging back and forth saying, oh my God, I'm having difficulties with this at games, you know, BYOL contest. And I'm like, I've been done within the first 36 hours this competition started. Let me show you a little bit about what's going on with this bar top slash countertop slash whatever you want to call it. I'm just calling it the Cool Toy Arcade because I do what I want. So let me give you a little rundown. So first and foremost, the Legends Connect is, for all intents and purposes, basically the brains behind the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade. Now there are some subtle differences between the two. Mainly there is no connection points for spinners and trackball, which is fine because I went with an eight button layout. At the time, didn't know that they weren't gonna be supporting eight buttons, but that's what happens when you do this pitch before you know any of this information. So it is what it is and I've wired it accordingly. But regardless, it comes with 20 built-in games. I can use the joystick to navigate like normal. Come over here, my menu buttons, inputs, platforms, channels, you know, sort like that. Use my joystick to navigate, or I can use my buttons to go through the pages. Pick a game, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and get started. So the game started. I got various different ways I can manipulate the game, change things. So first and foremost, I've got my buttons up here. I got essentially start coin, I've got my rewind button. I've got my menu button and then I got my volume up and down. Again, since I set this up for eight buttons, didn't know they weren't gonna support the eight buttons. So what I've essentially done is these extra buttons over here for coin. And if for whatever reason, they give me a firmware update to where it actually supports eight button configurations, well then I'll rewire those accordingly. But right now I can use the coin buttons. I can go to my menu, change my display mode, make you know, wide fit full, add scan lines if I want. Go to my advanced configuration for things like dip switch settings. So if the game's too hard, too easy, I want to mess with those midway games and change the volume, things like that. Turn the prior menu. Restarts the game because you made those advanced configuration changes. But again, for all intents and purposes, this is a miniaturized version of the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade. This can literally do everything that can do with the exception of trackball and spinner games. But go ahead and get started. Just show you one of these built-in games playing. I'm trying to be cognizant of time. I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long and that's how long it would take me to show you every single aspect this thing can do. So that's why I say blatantly, this is for all intents and purposes, a full-size At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet just miniaturized and portable because that's one thing I really focused on doing was I wanted to make this portable, you know, and be able to run off, you know, external power as well as internal power like battery banks and things like that. Go, go, go. One man army, one man army, don't pass it. That's what happens when you don't pass. <laughs> you get your legs broken. Oh. Running the field, juking, jiving. That was a wee kick. All right, let's get out of here. So we can go to ArcadeNet, just like on the full-size arcade. 
All right, I've signed in. You can see Cool Toy running off of Wi-Fi. Go ahead and pick Metal Slug. Obviously, ideally, you'd want to plug this into Ethernet. You can completely do that, but for ease and convenience right now, I'm just gonna run off my Wi-Fi and hope it works well enough. And I'll bring up my top menu so you can see that this is arcade net and this is not me running a ROM or anything like that. Game works great. Like I said, running off Wi-Fi, no issues. Still get my 60 frames per second. Go to our BYOG. Now we got all the various functions. We got our add-on, we got our cloud BYOG, local streaming. Played a lot of local streaming games, works great. My game room, Pixelcade, not really applicable in this situation just because Pixelcade is bigger than my entire arcade, so I'm not gonna mess with it. However, CoinOps works fantastic on here. Slowly but surely, there we go. And lo and behold, coin ops running. Navigate with my joystick, navigate with my buttons. However, doesn't matter which way. Lots of amazing games. Tons and tons and tons of fun ones. I mean, this. This is all the arcade games you could want, know, and love. Thanks to the team from CoinOps for putting this together. Simply pick whatever game you want, select it, have a, little, have a blast playing it. And of course our settings, we can change our Wi-Fi, sign in and out of ArcadeNet, Using our user ID, set parental controls, account settings, do some wireless pairing, check your device information, do a firmware update. There's no firmware updates out there, so I can't really do anything. It says version checking. Hey, look, I'm already on the newest version firmware because there isn't any firmware updates for this Legends Connect as of the making of this video. So go ahead and back out. Set up OTG mode, wireless control deck mode, not really applicable here. I can live stream directly from it. Like I said, everything I can do on the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet, I can do on this with the exception of using a trackball or an arcade spinner. I can even play light gun games. I can do it one of two ways. I can put a sensor up top here and play with the aim track natively, or I wanna use something like PC streaming, locally streaming. I can actually use my send in light gun on this thing, point the gun at the screen here as opposed to pointing it at my computer screen and it works just fine. Portrait mode, you know, turn my orientation that way if I wanted to play pinball. Be honest, I have zero desire to play pinball games in this kind of configuration. It's one thing to play something like Pac-Man vertically on here with, you know, nice artwork here on the sides, but to play a pinball game with this narrow of view, it's just not ideal to me. If I want to play pinball, I'm going to wait for the pinball machine to come out. And up top we have this handy dandy little carrying handle for ease and portability. But down here is the brains of the operation. This is the Legends Connect board, and this is not as tidy as I would prefer, but due to the design of the Legends Connect, uh, this is basically what I was forced to do, because basically every connection point and input and output on this Legends Connect board all face one direction. So like there was nothing on the sides, nothing on the back side. So I wanted to put this inside the you know unit and have it completely hidden away that way you only have either access to maybe a USB port or the Ethernet or the power or something like that but the fact that all of them were stuck on that one side really forced me to basically cut open a hole and make the entire board exposed that way I could still have the options to you know make various connections so for power you got two options you got a standard 12 volt wall outlet adapter or easy solution for portability this is a usb step up adapter you plug this in into the legends connect board you plug this in into any kind of power bank that you have something you know you normally charge your phone with plug this in and then voila you're portable so that is the power this is the hdmi out of the board that goes right back inside the machine that goes into the controller board adapter that powers and connects to my Screen, this is the controller adapter for that screen. I can change you know, menu settings, change settings on the screen, contrast, brightness, all those type of things that you would typically find. Then we have our ethernet port, and then we have 
two USB ports. So I'm using one to actually power the screen. So that's why you see a USB cord plugged in and then going right back inside because it is actually powering my 10 inch LCD screen. And then the second USB port I'm using down here for my external thumb drive to power my add-on games like Coin Ops. So the initial goal I set out to accomplish when I pitched this idea was I really just wanted to make a superior bar top slash countertop arcade than anything that is currently out there in the retail space. Everything out there is typically oriented for vertical games only, typically only has a few games loaded and has to be wall outlet plugged in at all times. You can't plug it into a USB battery pack and make it portable. This I can, I can do all those things. I've got a horizontal screen. I've got a bigger, better screen. It's 10 inches, bigger than almost anything out there as far as the tabletop arcade. Our budget for this project slash experience was $300. I came in with everything at $285.10. Now, would there be some things I would love to change and will change for my personal use? Absolutely. So I'm using generic micro switches, generic HAP knockoff buttons, a generic Sanwall joystick, I would want name brand replacements for all of those. I have everything for a light up marquee. The only reason I didn't cut this out and illuminate this marquee space was because I couldn't afford the graphic to put over that. I've got the cheapest, crappiest vinyl graphics on here. And the only reason I put them on here is essentially just to cover up the screw holes. So that is definitely something I would change. And the original design slash overall design of the Legends Connect board itself. Again, I wish it had different ports around these sides as opposed to everything being one directional and facing outwards that kind of really limited what i could do and how i could connect certain things with it but overall i'm happy with how this turned out and i hope me showing my cards early helps out everybody else in the competition because like i said i'm not really a competitive person i don't really care about competition if me showing you my hand early helps you win the competition that actually makes me feel better so more power to you Anyways, hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you enjoyed the Cool Toy Arcade. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And if you feel like it, vote for me in the competition to win. If you don't feel like it, that's fine too. You do you. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.